Now these things do have pegs, these don't have four boards, which, which is fine because it is a, a, as I said, it's an adventure bike. It's a five speed, there's only five gears on this thing, one down, four up. Hey YouTube, Harley Day Rider back at you once again, your good old friend HDR. And uh, today I'm riding the Royal Enfield Himalayan. The Himalayan here. Down in Warren, Ohio to take a demo ride. Get some glasses on here. Yeah, the controls are a little weirder. I guess I call them the mid controls, or right under my feet. Very interesting riding position for me. Knees are bent just a slight bit there. Get used to the controls. So on these new Royal Enfield Himalayans, they actually um, uh, put a turn-by-turn -turn navigation on here. Let's see how she starts on second gear. I talked to two old timers down here that both bought the uh, Himalayan and. They, uh, they said they love them. They said they're absolutely a wonderful bike. Outside of it being a little tall, you have to get used to that. But uh, uh, the gauges are neat. Like I said, this gauge over here, they just put a new turn-by-turn -turn navigation on these things. They hooked up with, uh, teamed up with Google Maps. And uh, you let your rod out and you Bluetooth it to the bike. Then it gives you turn-by-turn -turn navigation. So, brakes are good. hit neutral <laughs> it does not have self canceling uh, turn signals drop the shield down keep some of that wind noise off the mic there um, it's comfortable though it's a very comfortable bike I don't even know if I'd have to put risers on it I mean I'm sitting pretty much straight up right new is uh, under 6,000. Yeah, you have to get used to the riding position. I'm trying to see where the gear indicator is. Okay, that's the gear indicator over here. It's on that left side of the speedo. Have some get up and go. Now, so, like I said, you have to get used to it being a taller bike. But the reason it's a taller motorcycle, you got to remember, is it's a it's a uh, it's an adventure bike. It's an ADV. So I seen Sean Smoke getting on this. 
get on his MLA and the way I get on the Harley, you know, I put my one foot on the uh, left uh, floorboard and I put my foot over. Now these things do have pegs, these don't have floorboards, which which is fine because it is a, a as I said, it's an adventure bike. It's a five speed, there's only five gears on this thing, one down, four up. Like I said, I'm not the big kind of review guy, you know that. Um, I'm more of the guy that's going to tell you what I think about it, how I feel. The seat feels pretty comfortable. I mean, we're not going on no 200-mile you know, journey today, but... The windshield, that little windshield is keeping my helmet from buffeting. The wind is going up over top. You can feel it up right about up there, so... very small group for a demo day today because of the main factor uh, it's Wednesday so we're, it's on a Wednesday and we're out here demo in the uh, rural infields down here in Warren Ohio and somewhere in these videos I will cut the name to the dealership or add the name I'm sorry to, to the dealership because it's always nice when dealers do this Grips are very large, very roomy. Both turn signals are on one side. It's got a headlight. Uh, there's no, uh, yeah, there's no cruise control at all on this bike, which that's all right. It's not made for that. No, but it is just a really nice, uh, comfortable bike to ride. You know, people think, well, you know, HDR. It's not a 650, or it's not a thousand cc engine but uh, I tell you what it uh, really moves really really can lay down some miles on this bike I'm sure you can't put the hard bags on the back it does already have the mount on there for the top case or you want to call it a top case or you want to call it a tour pack or whatever you want to refer to it as Talk to one gentleman. The hard cases for the left and the right are going to run you about 800 bucks. You want to add some cases to it? I imagine you would because you'd probably take this thing on a trip. I know I would take it on a trip to see how it would go. One guy has his for, uh, he's had his Himalayan now for a year, I was talking to. And, he said he had to put an air ride cushion uh, on the seat because his tailbone would hurt because he's a skinny guy, he said he doesn't have a whole lot of meat on his butt arms. So, driver's backrest. It doesn't feel bad, I mean... I think that would get me after a while, though. So anyway... What I've seen too, most of the Royal Enfield uh, dealers, and most of them are not sold Royal Enfield. I found Indian dealers that sell Royal Enfield. This started out as a Yamaha dealer down here in Warren, Ohio. Um, if you just stop in, they will take you out on a demo ride, or they'll let you take it on a demo ride. You know, and, uh, let you see what it feels like. So I would suggest to go find one, take a demo. Take it out, see what you think. So again, thank you very much for watching. I do appreciate everybody out there. I'm gonna enjoy the rest of this ride here and go back and sign up for another one. Remember, ride your own ride, be safe out there, huh? Harley, Harley day rider, infield rider person every day. The Harley day rider be down and out in a beautiful Warren, Ohio on a Royal Enfield Demo Day. I'll see you later. Bye-bye for now.